what's up my fellow aliens in YouTube land, my name is Strax from the Uber Geeks, and today I will be reviewing the Transformers Generation Studio Series number 32, Optimus Prime. So here we are, and there he is. So first we shall take a look at the packaging. So as you can see here, very nice looking packaging. Up front. We have a nice picture of Optimus here. It's the CG render that they used for, well, all the original movie franchise. This is movie one, number 32, the studio series Optimus Prime. He is an Autobot, E plus, um, mentally, that's that's not me. Uh, has probably <laughs> Transformers. Generations. Oh, I got this from Toy Planet for thirty-two ninety-nine. That is in pounds sterling, not dollars U.S. or otherwise. Takara Tomy, and uh, on the side you got number thirty-two Studio Series. Another nice render of Optimus. He is a Voyager class, a Voyager, and a class A Voyager. Uh, on this side. Ooh, you got another. Oh, yeah, I might as well just do that. You have another beautiful CG render there of Optimus. Transformers Authentic. Do, 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 do. He's not a bot, just saying. Um, on the back, he's from Movie 1. He's Optimus Prime. He's an Autobot. Big screen inspired scale detail backdrop. He is from uh, Highway Showdown. So there's some um, nice photos and images of vehicle mode and robot mode. 37 steps. Uh, Optimus Prime fends off the ferocious Bone Crusher, waiting for his moment to strike the final blow. And there's Bone Crusher. The Funnily, funnily enough, the figure straight after this guy built the cast and backdrop included. Very, very we nice. Uh, more Hasbro, more. Some poses may require stuff. Not much more at the bottom and not much more at the top. Just some stuff. And that's it for the packaging. Here we have Studio Series Optimus Prime, the second Optimus Prime we have got in the Studio Series line, um, and I think it's quite cool. I really do. I think it's a really cool figure. So, in close here on the details. So on the grill here, we have some nice silver paint. Got some headlights there that are not picked out. <coughs> Sorry. Um, no, also got some more there. Very nice. And some nice riveting action there. Burn cross. Have that flame detail. There, it's a nice silver in the rims. Um, canisters there. They got smoke stats down in silver. Uh, some more flame detail. Some more silver in the rims. And going up the back, got some red. Or the wheel wells got his big old feet just hanging out there. Yeah. Um, going a bit forward, got some silver there for the lights. You got some trans clearant plastic there, some more flame decals, and some more silver. And the same on the other side. There's bottom, uh, so not much there. So it does come with accessories, they are more for robot mode, but if you want to use them, 
Here is his blaster. Yeah, if it will focus. There you go. Is his blaster? Just cast in some grey plastic with some black on the end of the barrel. And the way you can store this, there are many ways you can store this. So there is. Oh, ooh. So you can store this using this tab here. That tab. Hello, focus, focus, please. There you go. Tab there. Oh, now it's completely out of focus, and that can go. Ooh. So the handle goes in there, the tab slots into that slot there. You need quite a lot of force for that because it's quite a tight connection. There you go. You can have it like that. You can also. Um, sorry. You can also have it with that tab there, if it will focus, this tab here, and just tab it into that slot there. There you go, you can have that going on. Or, as I like to do it, you've got that huge S slot there, you've got a big S slot there. And there you go. And that's the way I have it. That's cool. Yep. So, for rollability, he's not the most maneuverable, I have to say. See, you see, it's not the best, he's more of the uh, pushing type, um, and also not all of his wheels roll. When he goes backwards, it goes right through me. So, yeah. So, for comparison, we have a pencil. You can see the pencil is longer than Optimus. Yeah. So, now for transformation. Here we go now. First, what you want to do is you want to untab these tanks from the side of him. Then you want to bring this up. Oh, you want to untab that and then bring that up. There are two tabs, two slots. Um, it will tab in like it's supposed to. Low tab in. Hang on, I'll fix this. And there you go. Uh, that's all nicely tabbed in there. So you just want to bring that up now so we can get down to these wheels. Unfortunately, on mine, um, this wheel is really loose. Uh, the tab seems to be too small for the slot so it kind of just like pops out really easily um, that might just be on mine it might be on all of them but either way now <coughs> sorry oh my god my throat I haven't got a cold or anything it's just being stupid <coughs> okay no, I think that just made it worse. And now what you want to do is you want to come to the front section here. You just want to 
Oh, just do that, but don't do that because that's dangerous. You're going to hurt yourself and probably hurt the figure itself because there is a little peg there, right there, if it will focus. Focus. Yeah, it's just a peg there that will go into that hole there, and these towers will like interlock. Yeah, so you just bring those out. And now what you want to do is you want to untap from the front and there are two tabs here, two slots there that they were in. So I'll leave that. Now what you want to do is you want to bring these out like that, they don't tab in or anything. Then you want to fold these in, push those together, bring this section round, and as you can see, there is a tab, well, it's the wing mirror that goes into that slot there, but don't do anything yet. So first, much like the first, bring that round, tab it in. And now you just leave that. Because <laughs> now what you want to do is you want to untab these arms here, like that. See, there's a tab and slot, and tab and a slot. And cool. Lovely stuff. You want to bring these up like that. Just, yeah. <laughs> just do as you please with that, just move it out the way. So then you can bring this up, and there's this big chunky section that goes into that big chunky hole. Like that. And then you want to rotate it, like that. Right, okay. And now what you want to do, is you want to bring this down a bit. You want to push this forward. And that shall reveal the head. Now what you want to do is you want to get these tabs into those slots there. Like that. Same on the other side. Tab and a slot. You want to bring these sections back. So you need to bring these flamed sections back. So that they interlock with each other like that. And then just put those over like that. So for the rest of the arms you want to bring these down just to move them out the way. Okay, good stuff. You want to untab these. There is a tab here goes into that slot there. You just want to untab that. You want to bring bring this round like that. <coughs> I'm going to bring these arms down a sec. I'm going to get this big tab there into that big slot there that we just untabbed it from. There we go. You want to bring this section back like that and just have that resting there. Just making sure that I've got that tightened in. Right. Second verse, much like the first, untab. Swing around. Tab. Back in. There we go. And swing this round. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Now. The other hands, what you want to do, you want to untab, so you've got a tab there that goes into a slot there, you want to swing this down, bring this hand up, and bring that round for it to tab into the wrist. Same on the other side, untab, bring up. 
uh, uh, have I put this the wrong way? I think I have. So I'm a stupid boy. What have I done? Oh no. Hang on. Okay, it's all good. Bring that round. Oh, okay. all good. And then you want to bring and just straighten everything out. Now, uh, yeah, we'll go for the legs now. You want to untap like that. Oh, oops, that comes off. Put that back on in a minute. Um, so there's a tab and a slot there, and two tabs there that go into two slots there. Apparently, yes, yes they do. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to swing this round like that. Good stuff. Same on the other side, just want to swing this round like that. Lovely jubbly. Now to put the swivel back on. Just, just plug back in there. And what you want to do is you want to bring this up, that, and that up. The same. You want to un tab these wheels because they're on uh, a tab there and a slot there and you just tab back in oh, sorry it gets very blurry I'm getting quite fast paced uh, there is a groove there and a tab there it'll just go in there same on the other side untab and swing round and tab back in you want to flare out his knee pads a bit and that is the lower body all done now to come to the back not much more to be done with the back here all you really need to do is you want to bring this extend this section out get these two tabs and plug them into these two slots here like that nice and then you want to bring these sections around a specific way which is inwards like that until they foop back into place. You ready? Listen. So you want to bring these round. So foop and foop. There you go. There's the backpack all done. And there you have Studio Series 32 Voyager Class Movie 1 Optimus Prime in his robot mode and I think it looks absolutely stunning I really do it looks brilliant I just love this figure to bits it's my first ever studio series figure um, as well and yeah it's a very good figure as well I really do love this guy um, So, going on on the details, so here we have his beautiful noggin, look at that head sculpt right there, that is just amazing, got some really nice silver paint on his face there, a little bit of turquoise in there for the eyes, and the rest is just moulded blue plastic but it does look very nice for a Voyager class figure going down to his chest you can see he got some nice red got his nice chest uh, sorry uh, abdomen section there some nice detail with some nice silver watch uh, some red there uh, blue there sorry red under there but sure just his wheel wells as you can see which I think is quite clever. Um, going down his crotch section, we have 
some nice molded detail, no paint, but some nice molded detail. Going down the legs, you got some silver there on the thighs, got some blue as well, just some grey, nice blue in there, really nice blue in there. And his big old feet there. Going down the arms, um, got some nice silver there on his forearms. Very nice. On to the backpack. The backpack is actually uh, improved since uh, Studio Series 05, I think he was. The original Studio Series Optimus Prime that we got. Um, it's a lot more compact than that was. Um, but unfortunately, we now have a huge gap there. Well, it's not huge, but it's not pleasant at all. But overall, I think this figure is absolutely wonderful. So, for articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint, so he can do. 360 looks up. So, listen. So, Oxford Prime usually stands with his head down, like really far, like this. But if this was him looking straight forward, then that would be up, that would be down. And 4 through 60. A uh, bit of wiggly waggy. What? The bit of wiggly waggly there. Uh, not the best. Uh, for arm articulation, uh, the arms can go out that far, and the shoulder pads can move out the way to accommodate that, uh, which is very nice. He's got bicep swivel there, um, over 90 degrees, only a little bit over, but it's nice to have a little bit over. We have a nice wrist rotation as well there. Um, yes, he does have waist rotation, but unfortunately, because of these wheels on his legs, <coughs> um, he can't really turn that all that well, so, yee. Um, legs-wise, um, his legs can go out that far, almost the full splits, but because of these wheels on his thighs there, he can move his leg that far forward get those high kicks uh, move that far back quite nice he's got some articulation there just swivel you have to bring this down for it to work properly though and it's really stiff too so so it's 360 degrees of Swivel there at the just above the knee, and for knee articulation, he has way over 90 degrees, way, 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 way over. Um, I would go as far to say it's got double jointed, um, uh, potential. There, but there's only one joint there, which is cool. Because <coughs> this knee actually isn't his knee, it's the thing behind it. So, and he has got some ankle tiltage, but no rotation just due to transformation. There. So, overall, some very good articulation there for. This Voyager Prime, who feels like a deluxe class, he actually does feel like a deluxe class, but oh well. And if you want to give him his blaster here, you can put it in his arm, uh, arm, hand here. I mean, I suppose you can put it on his arm, because he's got that tab from vehicle mode. But this is how you meant to do it. It's very nice. So there you go, bring back his box, 
he looks quite nice with his box there but what we're all here for is obviously the display yeet did I just say yeet? I'm so sorry I, I'm, I'm so sorry <laughs> Here is the display base. There it is. Uh, just fan that out just a bit. There you go. You can just plonk him on there. As you can see, it's that highway chase scene with Bone Crusher and Optimus. And he looks quite good in there, I think. So there you have a detailed review of. The Transformers Generation Studio Series 32 Voyager Optimus Prime. I have been Strax from the Uber Geeks. This is my saying. Remember, always be proud of your geeky self. I'll see you next time for another Transformers review. Peace. Like a bell cut. <laughs> Thank you.